Hello, I'm Janet. I'm Amber. And we are two girls and a bottle of wine. Because men like boobs. And girls like wine. It's been like a month. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <sighs> life, okay. man, life. Yeah. I mean, I struggle to get out of work as it is. So, I mean, even if we had had it, I probably would have had to cancel. Right. Um, we were supposed to be recording a couple days ago, and <laughs> you reached out, and you're like, I'm trying to take some time off, and I'm not going to be able to get out of here, but I can podcast from work, and I was, like, drowning at work, and I'm like, nope, nope, let's let's do another day. Thank you, Lord, because I was, I was exhausted. It was my very first time trying to do cycle bar before going into the office and then working at the office all day and that's that used to be my life (laughs) and yeah it's a change my butt i was work was crazy i was exhausted and i was a little cranky and i'm like not gonna happen (laughs) yeah but if you wouldn't have canceled i would have powered through because (laughs) that's how i am Yeah. And I was like, well, I could make it home and then I could just work after the podcast, but it was taking me so long to get out the door. And I didn't leave until almost seven o'clock that night, which isn't unusual these days for me. But uh, yeah, I would have not made it. It's the worst thing about taking time off is the prep beforehand and then the catch up after. How long are you taking off? Um, Well, so I took my first day of PTO outside of um, holiday in a year, uh, last Friday. And that killed me. Like one day of PTO killed me. By the time I got back to work on Monday, I was never able to get my emails under like ones that needed attention and like responses from me. I couldn't get it underneath like 120 the whole week. And then I only took off Thursday and Friday, but it's, there's just so much going on. Um, and there's so much that I'm, in charge of kind of. And so it just, it was taking me forever to get out the door and it sucks because I know on Monday I'm going to have a hellish day. Yeah. So I took a whole week off and typically when I take time off, I I'll log in and I'll do some things, but I was moving my dad from his apartment to assisted living, which meant making sure he was all set up while clearing out his apartment by myself And there was no time. So I prepared everyone. This is not going to be typical Janet being on vacation. (laughs) I'm not going to be available because I told people I'm going to be on vacation so I won't be available. And they're like, yeah, right. And I'm like, no, really? (laughs) Yeah. And um, it was horrible. I came back on a Wednesday and I didn't get my email under control until Friday. And ever since then, it's just, it's just a crazy time for our, our work right now. And, and I'm not even in the world that you're dealing with. (laughs) I know it's, it's all just insane. I think with the world opening back up, like this time last year, we were busy. We never like died, but, um, it's just full force. Yeah. Yeah. It's and a lot. It's been like two years since we've had this. And it's oh, trying to catch up. Yeah. No, I get it. That's insane. Hey, let's take a break and we'll be right back with more Two Girls and a Bottle of Wine. So what are you drinking? So I'm not a huge fan of this wine, but the I always get sucked in by the wine labels. And I have to stop doing that because the wine label oh, is really beautiful. pretty. beautiful. It's like it's, a, a golden butterfly, but it's like the profile of a face. Yeah. That's very cool. It's very cool. But it's called Replica, and it's okay. It's a 2017 wine, um, and I think it's just like a red blend. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's not – I don't know. It's like it's not – it's either too – I don't know. I, like, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like a sour grape juice. Ew. That does not sound appealing. Yeah. You'll have so, to... I mean, it's not horrible, but... Did you get closer? I did. Oh, okay. Um, I thought the phone did something. Could you snap a picture of the label and send it to me? Yes. I am drinking Truly 
hard seltzer tea. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. It's Friday. It is Friday. So we haven't talked. Very excited. In, yeah, 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 yeah. We haven't talked in like a month. Um, but we were kind of talking offline about, you know, I'm not one of those high maintenance people. Like, if you need me, reach out. I'll respond. <laughs> I'm here. Yeah. But and I know that you're the same way because it's happened a couple times with Butterfly, with my dad's situation. <laughs> and um, but I haven't talked to you in like a month from tomorrow. So what's up? I know. Outside of work being crazy, is there? Oh, how's the Peloton life? Oh, so I'm getting more involved in the Peloton life. So I've started doing, it's still hard to do with all of my hours. So I don't get it in as much during the week as I would like. But I've started doing the uh, strength classes too. So I do the bike and weights. And just today, um, I requested to trade in um, my Peloton for the new one. Already? Yeah, well, because my the Peloton that I ended up getting was like right before they announced the one that connects with Apple. Oh, and, yeah, and so I had That's already had my like uh, delivery date set up, and then they were like announcing the new Apple Bike Plus or the Bike Plus or whatever, and I was like, son of a bitch. Um, and so I've had it for about six months, and now that I'm doing some of the other strength building stuff, I think that it would be nice to have the monitor that I could turn. But also, it would be nice if my watch synced up with my bike, um, so that way I could better monitor my stats and stuff like that. Because um, that's how I'm motivating myself is um, seeing the improvement in the stats. And so um, I'd like to do more of that. So I asked them if I could trade it in. So in six weeks, well, I have a new Peloton. And you have to um, send the old one back. Uh, well, yeah. So when they come and drop it off, they will just take the old one. That is fantastic. And when I traded in, they give me a seven hundred dollar rebate. Rebate. I like I rebate. Like, I know. <laughs> Words are hard these days. Oh, we all have those days, so. right? And like they give me like other stuff, like an exercise mat and like something else. And I was like, "Well, shit! Why wouldn't I trade it in?" Right. So that's awesome. Here we are. I was talking to one of my girlfriends that used to do, she said she used to do spin class. I don't know if it was like, I don't think it was cycle bar. I think it was a, like a bike class oh. at a like gym. Oh, okay. Um, and she said that it was really hard for her to adjust to the difference in her spin class versus her Peloton. Now you coming from cycle bar, which I know cycle bar, is, is there a, a difference in how you pedal? Okay. No, not at all. So I'm thinking her spin classes were different than cycle bar. I had never done spin before cycle bar. And so I was like, I I wanted to ask you. I mean, I've done spin. I've done three different versions of spin, not including Peloton. Um, and two of them were in gyms. And then I had a... Uh, cycle bar, but I feel like it was all pretty much the same. The only adjustment really is the resistance, which is what I like better about Peloton is I can tell my resistance a little bit better. Um, and my cadence, like I can see more on the board. Uh, but that's the only thing that I feel like is different. I really, but other than that, like I felt like everything was exactly the same from spin class to spin class. It's just a bike difference. Got it. Don't give away your cycle bar shoes. I promise. I know I have them saved for you. Don't be like, Janet's never coming. These are going to Goodwill. I will be there. It's just a long way between here and there. I know. I'm like, well, I could bring them to Janet. But But it's a long way. way Yeah. Yeah. No, I promise I will. Um, Yeah. Steve was out of town a couple weeks last month, but life, man. I'm just antisocial. And leaving the house, like, I'm in sweatpants and I'm happy. I know. And I have a new dog, so <laughs> very distracted. Right? Very cute new dog. <laughs> so uh, I promise I haven't forgotten about you. Maybe once, because I'm getting my first vaccine this Tuesday, and um, maybe once I'm vaccinated, we could, I don't know, grab a Find meal. in the middle? Yeah. Would you be open to that now that you're vaccinated? I think so. Um, it's still a little weird. Like, it just feels so odd to me. Um, I mean, we did actually have like 
our first interaction with people. Um, we had a doggy play date, Ooh. like a big doggy play date at our house um, two Saturdays ago. And so we had already been watching um, the puppy uh, that we watched for Nick's roommate or Nick's uh, friend and worker, coworker. Uh, so we had Henry at our house and Risa was late coming to get him. So Henry was here and then Risa and his friend showed up and then it was Nick and I and Piper and then Felicity, who's one of my team members and Maddie, also my team member. And then Jeremy, who's Felicity's husband and their dog Basil came over on top of Tad and Pat and their dog Skylar. So we had all these people and all these dogs. And it was on that first like Saturday that it was real nice out. And I couldn't find sunscreen anywhere. So if you happen to see, I noticed that you had the V. Yeah. I wasn't yeah. going to, I wasn't going to bring it up. <laughs> yeah. So all of us, except for Felicity, somehow she managed to escape, escape the uh, sun, but the rest of us all ended up super burnt. Uh, well, that's awesome. Did you have fun? Yeah, it was a lot of fun, um, but it was kind of weird, like, because now, like, all social social interactions are very odd. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're all vaccinated except for Nick, but, um, well, I guess Jeremy wasn't either yet, but everybody else had been vaccinated. Um, not that that necessarily matters, but, like, there was the no mask thing, and then you're kind of, like, weird because then people come over and they're like, well, do you need us to wear a mask? Are we not wearing a mask? Right. Like, how close do you sit? Do you hug? Do you not hug? Mm-hmm. Like, it's just all very odd. Um, but it was a good time. It was fun. It was nice, too. But I was exhausted because we also had to celebrate Easter that night with oh. Nick's family. And so, um, Yikes. yeah, we were very tired. So I got to say, so. like, I drove to Missouri. As soon as I cross the border into Kansas, I stop for gasoline and I have my mask on. I go in the gas station because when you stop for gas, you should pee as well to use your time yes. wisely. And I walk in and I'm like, no one is wearing a mask. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, you're from Colorado? I was like, yeah. She's <laughs> like, you're in Kansas now, honey. <laughs> I was like, Okay. <laughs> Thanks. And even in Missouri, like um, Springfield still required masks, but Branson did not. Um, I couldn't go in to see my dad. Like (laughs) moving him into an assisted living was quite challenging because I'd like go to the front door, ring the doorbell. They'd come out and be like, here's his bookshelf. And I had to do that with each piece of furniture. And they were so ready for me to leave (laughs) after my week because every morning and sometimes afternoons I'm ringing the doorbell. Hi. I'm here to see Carl, you know, and it's just, yeah, but, um, so in some ways, like the, the other states were much more open, but I saw some similar, but then I came back into Colorado, stopped in Lyman. No. Oh yeah. Yeah. Lyman. Is it Lyman? Is Lyman East? I think so. Um, Lyman was my first stop in Colorado on my way back. To bathroom and pee again, and I get out and I'm like, "Oh, back in Colorado, got to put the mask back on." <laughs> it was just weird, and I know like the less populated places have not been as affected, so they don't they didn't have to shut down, right? Um, so yeah, but I hear like in Canada, like Ontario is shut down again, and so and someone I spoke with with from Quebec said that in the UK and other countries, you know how they're supposed to be like, how many, four weeks in between shots? Uh, yeah, three to four. And they pushed the second shot out to prolong and the the effect rate didn't decrease. So yeah. I think Quebec was looking at that to help prolong the vaccine's effect. I don't know. You would know more about that. That's just water cooler talk. Yeah, that seems. You have a very I doubtful look. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you I mean, like, it was, don't spread well, the lies. vaccines were set up a certain way, like twenty one days or twenty eight days, I think it was. Um, and it was based on like scientific studies showing that that would be the best timeline for mm-hmm. creating those antibodies that you need. Um, so I just find it interesting. 
Because they say that if you wait too long, like, then it may not be the full effect. Uh, But I don't know. What? I think his wife works in a hospital. Yeah. But I don't know. I'm going for my first shot, and I will come back for my second when they tell me to. There you go. I'm a rule follower. (laughs) So, two days off. You've had two days off. This is your second. What what have you been doing with your time? Nothing. That's good, though, Um, right? Isn't it nice to just veg? Yeah. It was nice to just sit there and not do anything. I mean, I think I like played around on my phone. I created um, some stickers that I'm going to be using on my Cricut thing. So I have my new printer and I'm hoping that this weekend I can get it all set up and get my things printed because I also bought um, a bunch of sticker labels uh, to try and make some stickers. So we will see how that goes. And yeah. Nice. You'll have to share what you create. No, I'm very excited about it because I also started. So the planner that I use is the quarterly planner. Mm -hmm. And this one is a pretty like coral color. Very excited about it. So I need some pretty stuff on it. I see you have a Central Perk sticker. I do. Did you see the article that I posted in our Google Doc about the Friends reunion? Yes, I'm very excited about the Friends reunion. So I wish we could have a friends pop up here, like one of those little friends like pop up things. I saw some posted on Instagram, I think, where they're like in New York or Chicago, where like you can go in and it looks oh, like Central yes. Park, and it looks like yeah. I really want to do that, but we don't have any here. No, maybe in the future. No. Um, yeah. So I guess they were supposed to to film the reunion, and then COVID happened. Yes, that is correct. Yes. But April 11th, which was five days ago, the Friends Instagram account, which I didn't know existed, I probably need to find that, revealed that the special has wrapped filming, meaning that we are closer to being able to watch it. Now, Amber, do you have HBO Max? I believe that we do. Ooh, I think I need to come over. Yeah. When? I don't know. When this thing drops. (laughs) I'll bring the popcorn. Okay. (laughs) And I have wine. But just remember that um, my dog constantly kisses. I love it. <laughs> I saw some sign on like Pinterest or something where it was like my dog's liquor is broken or something like that. Yeah, Piper. <laughs> once she gets used to you, she just constantly licks you. Oh. So I like to warn people. So you have to have HBO Max to watch it. Why I asked. Um, And it looks like everyone returned for the reunion, including the co-creators, David Crane and Marta Kaufman. And um, the details of what it's going to be are kind of not being shared, but I it's not going to be like coming back together. The show, from what I heard, it's going to be kind of them catching up, right? Yeah, I think so. And I see that like. Um, David Schwimmer says something about how there is one section I don't want to give away where we all read something. Hmm. So take that as you will. And so I was trying to like put together what that could possibly mean. Um, but it says that it's not going to be a revival episode. Mm -hmm. Um, it's going to be unscripted. And so the six actors won't be reprising their roles for any new scenes. Um, they'll just be participating in like a talk show style conversation, which makes me a little sad. Um, but either way, I don't care. We get to see them all. It needs to be like three hours long though. Uh, yeah, at least I agree. And they better have some like good gag reels or something. I gag have, reels are my favorite. I have watched all the gag reels on YouTube of They're friends. They're so good. There's so I know. many. I like, watch them over and over again. You can watch an hour per character of gag reels. Yeah. It's so fantastic. Well, I'm excited. I'm glad you're excited. And I, I'm glad you showed me your planner because Central Perk. What? <laughs> right. Um... Big news coming up this weekend is the ACM Awards, and if you've listened to the podcast at all, you know the CMAs and the ACMs are like my Christmases. 
They so, are. You know we got to talk about it. <laughs> are you going to watch it, Amber? I think I might record it. I don't know. It's hard because I like recording it because I like watching all of the uh, performances, but I don't always care for all the commentary in between. Oh. Um, and like, it's great for me to know who wins. Like, that's exciting, but I, it takes forever to get there. Um, so I'd rather just watch the, the performances. We don't want to miss the opening. I know. Miranda I am excited. And Ella King, have you listened to their song? Uh, yeah, we talked about it. On, remember on our it's one been episode, a month. I was the first one it's to bring up Miranda. That's right. It's been a month. I know, but I'm still, sorry. it was the first time I brought up Miranda before that you. That is true. You are correct. I'm so sorry. Um, the show is <laughs> going to be hosted by Keith Urban and Mickey Guyton. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just can't forget the one podcast when I was like, Mickey Guyton, and you're like, who? Who's he? Yeah. It's a she. But you have educated yourself since then. Um, I have, and she's on my list, my song list. So they're going to host it. This will be Keith Urban's second consecutive year to host, but she will be the first um, black African-American female host. Wow, words. <laughs> words. So I think it's going to be so awesome. much fun. Um, when it comes to nominations, Maren Morris and Chris Stapleton lead nominations with six each. But then we have wow. Miranda with five. Ashley McBride and Thomas Rhett both have four. And Entertainer of the Year nominees, your boy Luke. Yeah, I did hear that. And um, I heard that a lot of people were rooting for him. I saw some article. I didn't fully read it. But um, I know that they were talking about how people feel like he should win. But it would be his, like, third year in a row, Mm -hmm. I think, to win. So. We shall see. Um, yep. Morgan Wallen is not nominated. But did you see that some of his fans bought billboards in no. the Nashville area to promote his ACM nominations that don't exist anymore? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Um, and wow. some people have already won. Um, Kane Brown took home video of the year with Carly Pierce. Uh, or took home video of the year, comma. Carly Pierce and Lee Bryce also were awarded um, Music Event of the Year. And so I think the ACM is different from the CMAs. There's less awards that you see and more performances. Yeah. I think you're I think you're right from yeah. what I remember. Yeah. Yeah, I'm super excited and I hope you watch it after the fact. At least I probably will. I just hope I remember to record it. My DVR records anything with Miranda Lambert in it. You should Very do that nice. for Luke Bryan. I should. Will Except you? Except for then I have to watch American Idol. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but you want to talk about the other new news? We don't watch American Idol, but... Yeah, but I was still shocked. And I, at first I was a little um, disheartened. But just because I love Luke Bryan. But um, apparently... Paula Abdul will be stepping in for Luke Bryan on American Idol. But why? Um, because Luke Bryan tested positive for COVID-19. So Paula Abdul, who was an original judge back in the day, um, will be stepping in uh, to sit with Lionel Richie and Katy Perry starting Monday. Right? Oh, that was starting this last Monday. Sorry. But how it was, long uh, the will it last? Um... Does it say in this thing? I don't know that it says. Because I know in uh, Masked Singer, it was probably like a good four weeks. Because I bet he probably has to be out for 14. And then he'll probably have to come back and get at least three negative tests before he can be back on the show. Got it. So So it's not for forever. It's just for now. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But still. We don't watch it. So we can't be that sad. I know. I wasn't really that. Like, after I thought about it, I was like, I don't even watch it. So. So I'm going to need you to catch us all up on Mass Singer. Oh, goodness. Because I haven't watched it. I'm sorry. I pulled an Amber slash Ashley. You did. I rarely do that to you girls, but life, man. Life. 
I know. It's the only thing, I think, besides Call Me Cat, where I really, like, want to watch it. Um, I don't watch it the night of, but I try to watch it, like, the next day if I can. Um, my girlfriend, Tiff, who watches this as well, her and her husband do a really good job at guessing, just like Ashley does. I have been a horrible guesser. <laughs> like, so where I... we left off last, Kermit was revealed. Oh, goodness. And they don't, it's not like a straightforward, these are your mass singers, and these are them being revealed each <laughs> week. No, these different groups and it's just a lot yeah. for me well and this year they also um started doing a uh wild card so they have brought in like a person or a, a masked singer um each episode now that hasn't already been singing so it's like a brand new person um i was trying to find my notes here on everybody here but, like, I know, um, what was it, two weeks ago, they came out with the Orca, which was a wild card. Um, they also had the Bulldog, which, in the end, ended up being Nick Cannon. Um, it was him revealing his comeback, which I'm very happy to see him come back. I wasn't a huge fan of uh, the other woman, Macy. Mm. Like, she did a fine job. I just, I really like the banter and how, like, Nick Cannon does things. Um, so, it was him coming back after also being tested positive for COVID. Uh, who else have they had? I think they had the grand, uh, Grandpa Monster come in. Um, Sorry, I can't find my notes on it. And I'm trying to find, like, recaps here. That's not working. Um... Uh, the Orca. So they brought mm-hmm. in a brand new last or this week. They had uh, a brand new wild card who was really good. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, so the Orca who was came in last week or the week before, uh, he was actually had to take it off. And it ended up being Mark McGrath. And, I love him. Is he still cute? Yeah. He was still pretty cute. So that was fun. I'm trying to remember who else has been going on. Um, Because let's see. The group B has the black swan, the chameleon, the grandpa monster, and the piglet. But the grandpa monster was um, unmasked, Mm -hmm. I believe, Um, which is uh, a YouTuber. Him, he has like a brother or something like that. Um, I have no Paul? idea who he is. Yeah. Was it something Paul? I think it is. Jake Paul, I'm Logan trying to find Paul. Names. Um, yeah. <laughs> one of the Paul Jake Paul. Jake Paul. Okay. I never watched them, but yeah, they're the brothers. They're kind of pieces of crap. Anyway. Yes. That is uh, my gathering as well. <laughs> Nobody likes them. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I was not prepared to uh, have to give a recap here. I'm, what do you mean? So, well, no, because I wasn't prepared to have to give the full recap. Oh. So now I'm all discombobulated. I promise I'll do better. Ooh, no, that's okay. I put you I'll, on the spot um, and didn't give you the heads You up. did. You didn't fail. Uh, you did fantastic. But it, it's a good season. I really like this season. I think that like they do almost every year. They keep getting bigger and bigger uh, stars. Do you think COVID helped? I think so. But I also think that because I remember when this show first came out and you all laughed at me and other people laughed at me going, I can't believe you're going to watch this. There's no way this show. I don't know if you guys said that part. I don't think other people were like, this isn't going to last. And I was like, oh, my God, but it's so much fun. Because I think people really like the mystery of things. And it's so exciting that you can hear somebody's voice and, like, really learn to love it. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, who was the dog a couple years ago? Um, oh, my gosh, I'm forgetting his name now, which is not okay because I downloaded, like, all of his music after the fact. And it's not country music. It's, like, rock, I guess. Um, but I really love it. And uh, so it's kind of fun because you get to hear hear them differently. Yes. Thank you. Yes. He's got such a good voice. He was from American Idol. Yeah. Season two. He was. Maybe season 
Maybe another season. I'm making things up. <laughs> and Caitlyn Jenner was one of them. So I think that may have been right after ours. Because um, the Phoenix uh, was the first celeb that was eliminated in Group B. And that was uh, Caitlyn Jenner. How was her singing ability? You know, it wasn't bad. Like, it wasn't... Do you think they auto-tune some of those? Well, so I don't know because um, who was the guy that won the first year, the monster? Um, he was like a I whole didn't thing for first... auto-tuning. Oh, right. First season, Masked Singer winner. Isn't yeah. he the king of auto-tune? Right. So that's why I thought it was funny that you said that. Because that was the whole thing about him doing this is he's like, I wanted people to know that like I can sing. Mm -hmm. um because then you know you do have the people that come out where you're like like the raccoon who which finally ended up leaving because that was danny trejo um who's danny trejo if you saw his face you would know him um i know he's been in uh i think he was in something called machete um i don't know he's I recognize his face. He's got a very long ma or long uh, mustache. Oh yeah, he was on. Uh... Yep. Yeah, he was not my favorite. His voice, I was not a fan of. And I think if they hadn't been wanting to probably prepare to reveal Kermit on the first episode, he would have gone home the first time. Mm. So, oh, and I made a mistake. Grandpa Monster was the brother, so it was Logan Paul. Not, uh, I think. Somebody guessed his brother, but it ended up being Logan Paul. I can't believe someone guessed the Paul, but I guess they, they are. I know. I don't know how um, they come up with some of this stuff. Who do you want to see on the show? You know, just because they keep bringing them up, I think I would really like to see Lindsay Lohan or Ooh. Jamie Foxx. Because uh, Ken John did like that. Like the Some country artists. Oh, maybe. Because we can't quite tell if they're men or women yet. Hmm. So their voice styles keep changing. And um, there's been some clues. Like, I think somebody guessed Lady A, but I don't think it's Lady A. Um, I thought it was Hanson, but I feel like that'd be too easy. Hey, let's take a break. And when we come back, we'll finish talking about the mass Singer and the Bachelor world. Thank you. Okay, Amber, real quick before we jump into Bachelor Land. Mass Singer. Yes. Out of all the, the seasons, where would this one rank? Ooh. I don't know. Because um, it does get better every season. So, But I do have to say I loved last season because it was Leanne Rhymes in the end. Right. She's And I love her. She's a, a nation national treasure. Really. Yeah. She is a powerhouse. Um, mm hmm so, I mean, it's been pretty good, though. It's right at the top. I would say it might be, like, number two on my list. Nice. Yep. Well, are you ready to jump into Bachelor Nation? Let's do it, because there is a lot, I feel like. Yeah. It's Maybe been not. a month. I'm like, mm, is there a lot? There's just a lot. I feel like, yeah, yeah a lot of, I don't know. So, Which one thing we didn't put in our notes is Raven and Adam got married. Oh, yeah, I did see that. I saw some little uh, article about it. I didn't go in and read it. But mm -hmm. Was Adam somebody from the Bachelor Nation world? You're asking questions I don't know because it was before I watched. Uh, Let's um, see. Because I don't think Adam got shocked. I don't remember if he was part. Oh, yeah. They were one of the few couples to survive life after Bachelor in Paradise. Got it. So he was on. I just don't remember seeing him. I remember Raven. Yeah. Um, she's gorgeous. But she's, I know, she's so pretty. Uh, but I do not remember Adam. So I don't know what season he was on before he got on Bachelor in Paradise. Mm -hmm. Um. But it looks like they filmed uh, in 2017. So they were on season four and their love lasted through the finale. Um, but he did not propose on the show. So they ended up uh, living in different cities for a while and then um, ended up growing closer and eventually got engaged and married. Mm -hmm. 
So good for them. Um, Matt James delete or de- deactivated his Instagram and then reactivated it with minimal mention of The Bachelor. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I go back and forth on this. Like, I I don't know that I understand the purpose of it. Because um, I know that there's been a few others that have, like, deleted all of their stuff that has been a part of the Bachelor Nation world. But the stuff is still out there. It's not like you're hiding it from anybody. And any of the comments that people want to make on those, they can still make them on your page. Mm-hmm. Um, on any photo. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be tied to that. Um So I just, I don't know. I find it very interesting, but to each their own, I guess. Whatever his healing process needs to be, I guess. And he and Rachel actually had a reunion recently. She, he invited her to New York, but I guess didn't go well. Um, Yeah, that's what I saw too. I guess his ex... Um, reached out to her to let her know that he had invited her, his ex, to go to Florida, and it was just a little shady. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not on Team Matt James anymore. Yeah, it was a little odd. I I don't know. The whole thing has been very weird. Mm -hmm. But you know, I don't know what to think. I have enjoyed the downtime with no bachelor Mm -hmm. in my life. When is the next season starting? Um, I think it's starting in May, doesn't it? Um, that sounds right. For some reason, May 20th is in my head, but I actually have no idea. <laughs> I, that just seems like a really good date in my head for some reason. Well, before we get into the list that was released of our next Bachelor at Katie Thurston's Men, um, big news this week. Big news in Bachelor Nation. like Huge news. I had left the gym and I was driving to work to shower and get ready for the work day. And I have a little pop socket holder so I can see my phone at all times. And I looked down and I was like, what? I had to pull over yeah. and text it to you girls and be like, guys. I know. I was shocked when it came across my screen that it had come out that Colton Underwood... Was coming was out. <laughs> coming out. <laughs> like, on sh- one hand, like, I, well, so I was kind of shocked. But at the same time, I was like, Meh, I can maybe see that. So it was kind of surprising, but kind of not. Um, I don't know. Did you read his book? No. Because he, he kind of um, talks about when he was in his formative years about how he had looked at gay porn and um, oh. was just trying to understand how he felt. He hmm. wasn't sure. He thought at that time maybe he was, but then he realized he wasn't. But now he is. Interesting. Is there anything like that from his book? Um, but it sounds like he, this is something that he really started um, admitting to himself earlier this year. And he spent this time kind of exploring that um, and becoming comfortable with it before he actually announced it. Um, And it sounds like he came out on Good Morning America Mm -hmm. um, during an interview. So, yes, he did come out on Good Morning America. And I guess they're going to film a Netflix show about his journey into his new world. I feel like it might be too soon. I know. I saw that come out, I think it was later that day when I sent the uh, link mm-hmm. to you guys in the uh, chat. But yeah, I was like, it's a little early for a, a reality TV show on this, but sure. Mm-hmm. Well, then I was looking at when on the next article that we're going to look at, I thought I saw something about Bachelor producers thinking about asking Colton to be another Bachelor year or something like that but i didn't click on the link because i felt like it was clickbait so i don't know if that was actually true but and actually um chris harrison on his instagram page posted a picture of him and colton saying um that he was proud of him for accepting who he was and kind of something like that and i don't know that he's posted anything since everything went down so that was surprising to see that i i did recall seeing chris harrison and i was like what chris harrison's post yeah um (laughs) 
And yes, let me look at Chris Harrison's Instagram. Yep, it was the first post he's made since. Yeah, I was like, oh, he's at the top of my page. All right. Yeah, weird. I know. Well, we wish these people that don't know us at all nothing but the best. (laughs) And right. Um. Yeah. There you go. When we come back, we're going to talk about the list that was released right after our last podcast. So it's over a month old. I don't know if there are updates. Do you know, Amber? I have no idea. So we'll go through the list of our next Bachelorette's possible men. We'll be right back. All right. It's time to jump into it. Now that The Bachelor has wrapped, it's time for The Bachelorette to start filming. Um, And Katie... Katie, she is our leading lady. Right, which after her first night of arriving with the dildo on Matt James's season. We love her. I was like, oh, who is this lady? But I am now in love with her and I'm so excited that she's the bachelorette. Yes. So let's jump in to talk about the potential guys that might be joining her on her season. First up, we have Greg. He's 27 from New Jersey. Um... And there's no bio just yet on him. There's so he not. might be a, a recent addition. What do you think of yeah. Mr. Greg? What? Bio excerpts here. Oh, um, sorry. I was <laughs> still reading the little thing that was like, sink your teeth into details of Greg's personal life. on the sh-. And then it was like, on the show. Um, he looks very... Clean. I like his jacket. He's clean cut. He's very clean cut. With a little um, five o'clock shadow. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Could be her brother, yeah. though. Yeah. He just looks very plain. Mm-hmm. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but he just is very, um, yeah, like a white T-shirt and a gray, like, fleece jacket thing. Like, nothing real fancy. Right. So. Now you have Joshua, who's 25, from Florida. No bio on him either, but I, I like his uh, yeah, smile. So I like his smile. Um, the pose for him, his ears look a little odd. His hand, like, I one feel like hand they look a little big. Pocket and the other one, it doesn't yeah. look like a natural pose. But I'm not no. going to talk about his ears. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mister Three looks like trouble. His name is James. He has oh, very yeah. he's sparkly gonna be teeth, problems. and he's from New York. He works out. I, yes. Way more than the last two guys. Well, actually, no. The last guy, Joshua, he probably works out, too. But Greg, I don't know about him. Mm-mm. But uh, James is very defined on his arms, from what I can see, and his pecs. Uh, mm-hmm. But, yeah, he's going to be problems. Yeah. Next up, Justin. we have Justin I Don't Smile. He's 26 from Maryland. Yeah, I feel like he's not going to last long, and he looks like he just happened to be driving on the side of the road, and they asked him to, like, get out and take a picture. Mm-hmm. Like, he doesn't look very happy, and his shirt is just this very odd, like, striped shirt that I feel like it could wouldn't be a, wear like on a date. a fast date. food restaurant. Yes. Uniform yeah. is the I word agree. I'm looking for. Next up, we that. have Carl. He is 33 from Florida. He's wearing a V-neck shirt, which I'm not sure how I feel about that. I love V-necks um, on men. I go back and forth, especially if they're hairy. I do not want a V-neck. <laughs> Ew. Um, but he looks like he might be very uh, genuine, maybe. He's a little bit older, so we might, I don't know. Oh, God, what? Click the next button. Whoa! <laughs> This man looks... He looks like he has a lot of personality. His name is Landon. He's 25 from California. And he's just like... His smile is just so big. And he's yeah. got these Like it curls. makes the eyes squint. Yeah. yeah. He's just but like, like... A portion of his hair is like flicked back. But his side is from, like beautiful curls. Yeah. I don't know. Like you said, I bet he has a lot of personality. He does. And he has... These like bracelets on that look like those Pura Vita. Um, I don't know if you've seen those, but like bracelets no. that like have meaning behind them. So I have a feeling he might be a little bit more like 
Spiritual? I don't know. Spiritual? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Up next, we have Andrew S. He is 26 from Illinois. He's he's got a very nice smile, but I feel like he doesn't have enough life in him yet. Like, I feel like there's not enough experience behind his He looks eyes. scared. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know that he'll go past the first couple weeks. Next up, we have Marcus, and he's adorable. He's 30 from Washington. He looks like he should be a Jonas brother. Yes. Mm-hmm. I agree. But he's very cute. And he's got like a little um, scar or birthmark or something on his arm. But he's cute. Yes. Next, we have Tanner that looks like he could be a dentist. He's 28 from California. Yeah. I'm going to go with dentist as well. I don't know. He looks or like a Chandler. Like he just doesn't. Yes, he's so Chandler Bing. Yeah. I, I don't know about this, but I bet he's funny. Yes. Next up, we have Andrew. He's 31 from California. I feel like he might be balding. That's okay. And that's why his hair is like parted in that one area. But I like a sweater. It's gray and like a cool pattern on it. The new generation of adults don't like the side part. I like the side part. I just feel like his is over too far. Right. Now we have Courtney, who's 26 from Texas. I like his name. It's different. He's got a very, like, long face, but not in a bad way. Um, I don't know. I like him. I bet he stays around for a little bit. His shirt's coming up at the bottom. I can see his belly. Yeah. The wind is a blowing. It is. Then we have Dennis, 26, from Illinois. Uh, I think he might be stalker material. Like, I don't know. There's just something that tells me stalker or something. Like, he might be a clinger. (laughs) Then we have Christian, who's 26, from Massachusetts. He reminds me of, um, who was the pompous guy on, uh, uh, Tasha season um, that I hated. Um, he made her like the breakfast in bed and Jason. like he was always chasing. Yeah, like chasing. Yeah, that's what he reminds me of. He looks like he might be a little preppy and a little like I go to Harvard. <laughs> oh, Bennett. Bennett. Yes, Bennett. Yes. Next, we have Marty. He's twenty-five from Nevada. He has a high top. Is that what it's called? Yeah. The hair. So much fun. He's wearing a denim acid, like denim jacket. Yeah, he looks like he's straight from like MC Hammer time. I wonder if yeah. those are hammer pants. I don't know. He has a lot of rings on his left He does. Only. I just noticed that too. And like these silver chains, which I appreci- appreciate. But they are silver chains, because I'm not a huge fan of yellow gold chains. But um, I also think he has a long earring on. I just zoomed. Yes. That's what I was doing, too. <laughs> Interesting. He's, I, got, he's got a style that is yeah. unlike no other. Yeah, he'll be interesting. Ooh. Now we have John, who is 27 from California. He looks very sweet and innocent. He's in front of a plane. Is he a pilot? I don't know. Oh, I bet he is. How about Aaron, 26, from California? When I clicked on it, he looked familiar all of, like initially, but now I'm like, no, I don't see it. But I think it's because when you click on it initially, he immediately reminds you of Claire. Dale. Dale, yeah. Because yeah. that's what I thought at first, too. When I first clicked it, I was like, whoa, Dale. Um, but then the more that you stare at him, the more you're like, okay, maybe not. But he does look very similar to him. But he's got a very good look about about him. It, yeah. Oh, no. Up next, we have Hunter. He's 34 from Texas. Oh, uh, he's a serial killer. <laughs> We're supposed to be nice. <laughs> I know. I really like his tattoos. He has a full sleeve. Very colorful. But his smile is uh, scary. Yeah. Next. Did we already see this guy? His name is Thomas. He's 28 from California. Doesn't he look very familiar? Like, we just saw him a few yeah. minutes ago. 
I think it's because he looks like another one of the contestants. I think we've seen so many contestants at this point We're that they're all starting 18. to just look. I, no, I mean like in general, oh, like over the years. Over the years, got it. And we've already seen two bachelor or bachelor seasons in the last year or six months. He kind of has a Keanu Reeves look about him if you like side yeah. glance with the crossed eye. But I, I don't know. He gives me a southern um, feel, even though he's from California. Like I feel like he's going to be very uh, nice. Yeah. I clicked next. I could tell. Mr. Brendan, he's 26, from Toronto, Canada. And I think he took the picture when he was in Canada because it looks to be pretty chilly. And I feel like somebody may have uh, airbrushed his teeth. Yeah, they look super white. They're very white, but it also almost has like this like glossiness across it. Mm -hmm. But he's got really pretty eyes. Mm -hmm. And great hair. I'd run my fingers through it if I were single. For sure. And he's cold. Mm -hmm. His nips are sticking out. (laughs) Next up, we have Kyle. He looks like he might have to pee. Um, He's 26, and he's from Florida. Yeah, there was something when I clicked on him, there was something that he reminded me of somebody, like an actor. uh, Ben Stiller. Ah, I see it. But he's got a really nice dimple. Mm I don't know. Let's see. Next up, we have Mike P. 31 from Arizona. He is from Surprise, and he is a surprise. His eyes. Um, I like his eyes, but I think it also helps about the shirt that he's wearing. But I don't know. I feel like he's like a football player or some kind of sports athletic guy. I want to see what his armband says. I know. I was actually looking at that, too, but I can't see it. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Next up, we have Bao from thirty um, from New Hampshire, who is thirty six. He works out uh, too. He does. He's very attractive, actually. Mm-hmm. I agree. He's got very good face face structures. <laughs> You're now. right. Next up, we have Gabriel. He's thirty five from North Carolina. Um. His shirt is buttoned, unbuttoned too far. He has chest hair. He has chest hair, which I immediately do not like. Um, he looks like he might be a little bit of a douche. Mm-hmm. He might cause some problems. Next up, we have Jeff, 31, from New Jersey. He looks like a really nice guy. He's got a great personality. Next. Connor B, 29, from Illinois. This is not getting better. Mm-mm. I liked the first half of these. Um, he's not bad looking, um, but he's not, like, smiling. So that kind of puts me off a little bit. And I feel like he's trying to give us, like, a sexy look, and it's just not working. He also has chest hair with a shirt that's too far unbuttoned. Next. Oh, I was clicking on nothing. We have Victor, 32, from Galveston, Texas. He looks like he's 15 but grew facial hair really early. And now we're back on track. We have Austin, 25, from California. He's cute. He does look a little bit like Trouble. Yeah, definitely. But but he's cute. I don't know that I like his little goatee thing. Like, I feel like something doesn't mesh right on the facial hair there, but he's cute. He's got cute curls. How about Trey, 26, from Georgia? That's a very feminine shirt. That might mean he's super masculine. But uh, he's got a very nice smile. He kind of, at the top of his, like, from his eyebrows up, though, reminds me of Will Smith when he was Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Mm-hmm. I could see that. Now we have Michael A., 36, from Ohio. He has a very interesting tattoo on his forearm of just three black bands. And his face doesn't, not that you have to look a certain way to have tattoos. He just doesn't look like a guy that I'd be like, oh, I bet he has a tattoo. He looks like he would work in the finance department. Yes. But maybe the tattoo means he has a little edge. Maybe. Number 30, we have Connor B, 28, from Edmond, Oklahoma. He's a good old Midwestern guy. 
Yeah, he looks very um, down to earth. I think he might be a little bit of a ginger. Yeah, I like him. I like him too. He's cute. Next up, we have David, 27, from New York. David's not bad looking. He um, he is a little bit younger. Not young, but 27. Um, so you can kind of see that he's got a little bit of young in him, but I like him. And Garrett. He might have red hair. He's 29 and from California. Um, I feel like he might look a little bit better with some facial hair. Yeah, he looks very young. Next yeah. up, we have Cody. I wonder how tall oh. Cody is. He, he's 27 and from New Jersey. Um, and I'm guessing, I don't know if this is like his submission po- like photo or is what. Is he a realtor? A, right. Like he's going to be a realtor or maybe he's at a wedding and he sent this photo in. Um, but he's like in a suit and uh, There's like he looks like him. he's trying to sell us something. Mm-hmm. And last but not least, we have Brandon, who's 26, from Illinois. He looks like he would hang out with Sheridan from um, that one season. Oh, that, yeah. I forget the name of it. Very Austin-like. Yeah. He also looks like someone put one of those bowls on his head and cut his hair. But he's got a very nice smile. <laughs> he just needs a little help with his hair. He does. He does. Yes. Well, that was fun. I'm excited for the season to start. Me too. (laughs) I'm very excited. Do you have um, our wine tip for the week? I do. Uh, Let me pull it up. Okay. All right. Uh, In ancient Greece, the host of dinner would take the first sip of wine to assure that the wine served to guests wasn't poisoned. The act of courtesy was where the phrase drinking to one's health originated. Oh, there you go. Yep. For our positive poly, um, you do not find the happy life. You make it from Camilla Kimball. True story. Awesome. Well, this was fun. Did you have fun? I did. Excellent. Well, we'll be back in a couple of weeks. It won't be a month again. <laughs> no. Right? No. If we don't die Not from overworking. Um, right. But thank you guys so much for listening. Make sure you like and share us and give us uh, reviews and on all of the things. And I hope you guys are all doing great. Yes. Bye. Bye.